Well, I'm Rick, and this is your seat table. And hey, you're looking at Granny White Mama. She is uh, gracing her, gracing us with her. She won't get off the damn table. Okay, she just really, she just, uh, she really wants to be up here, and she wants some attention, and she's the most attention she's gotten in a while. She, Mama was in here earlier for a few hours, so it's not like you weren't getting paid attention to. Anyway, we're looking at uh, Battletech's Alpha Strike Commander's Edition. Now, I don't know that I have the Alpha Strike uh, uh, version in the PDF files. Uh, they, they very well may be. Uh, I don't know that uh, there's any point in trying if they are there to print them out because usually these. These are just enhanced versions of those, and, and it should be a waste of paper and effort, in my opinion. So, one of the f couple years back, a year and a half ago, I was doing videos <laughs> on uh, a, 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 a damn it, battle, uh, battle, uh, battle force, battlefield, uh, battle force. Damn it! Yeah. You're not helping, Mama. You're screwing my head. Uh, and. I was a big fan of Battle Force, and still am, and because it represents very large combat. And and I don't think, every now and then, then I, then I get comments that say, oh, well, it's just good. You know, Alpha Strike is what replaced uh, Battle Force. Uh, no offense, Alpha Strike's good, but this is no Battle Force. Not even close. No. Not, a, not happening. This is still individual units. Granted, a larger number of individual units, which I make the argument that's regular Battletech, you, F, you, you yahoos. I think of a couple other more choice words, but I'm, not, I'm going I'm refraining myself from them because uh, we don't want to upset Mama here. Right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, the the <laughs> yeah, that's when I start something again. Uh, no, okay. Uh, the yes, I don't need the tail in the nose. The uh, the point is, though, this is just, I don't know, another version of battle ta a tabletop battle net. Ain't no, ain't no battle force, you fools, in large-scale combat. Well, Jesus, you do that with regular battle tech, too. Is there any specialized rules in here that I could, I didn't see anything that's specialized in larger scale, you know, where we're talking multi, you know, three or four lances focusing firepower on a target? I mean, hello, that's not in there. That's a battle force thing. But the coin I'm getting at, though, is there's nothing, this is actually some very good stuff, a lot of good information in here. Uh, there, there was a couple that I was uh, a bit, uh, eh. I think it's, they were just keeping them in there for the sake of having a full round, full round doohickey, right? It just buggers my brain. Oh, there was a couple. There was one thing in here, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. I guess I ain't gonna worry about it now. Uh, a lot of good rules. A lot. Oh, oh, I know what it was. One thing that stepped out of all the stuff I've seen today would have to be and I have to go what the hell is this and then I go okay special command abilities so catalyst y'all figure out a way to put feats let's put feats let's have feats let's get back let's get our version of D&D feats for battle tech. You know, okay, so you got some people with some very unique talents, you know, anti-aircraft specialists, uh, camouflage, uh, enemy, enemy specialization, false flag, flankers, you know, people that have this, in a certain given situation scenario, they get a bonus. Because this is something they, they, they excel at, or they're extremely, you know, uh, interested in or whatever and what have you so that's saying that, that that's that's an awesome addition but it was a bit you know kind of tongue-in-cheek where I'm like uh, really this is the best you guys can got are you back on that mouse again you leave the mouse alone it's yes I know what it does thank you so anyway me great white mama here you're there have a great